students today we will learn about reciprocating compressor the working or reciprocating compressor and at the end of the lecture we would learn that how to derive the work done expression for a reciprocating compressor this is the schematic diagram of reciprocating compressor it consists of a cylinder and a piston the piston reciprocates inside the cylinder it consists of two valves those are the inlet valve and outlet valve these are non return valves means they can open on one side only and this is the crankcase this is the crank and the crank is driven by a motor means power is provided by the motor to the piston so rotary power is provided by the motor to the crank and this rotary power converts into reciprocating motion of piston and this is the pressure vessel over where the high pressure gas is collected the job of a compressor is what the job of compressor is to take the low pressure gas and convert it into high pressure gas and technically in thermodynamics point of view it takes low enthalpy gas inside and raises the enthalpy of the gas by addition of work done in it this we know so over here i am talking about a particular compressor which is compressing air means taking the uh, uh, atmospheric air inside a cylinder and raising its pressure and pushing it inside the pressure vessel for collection of high pressure air it is like this this is the air filter the job of air filter is to that when air goes inside then it screens off the dust and debris from air because it can damage the internal articles of this piston cylinder system now all in all what happens the piston reciprocates to and fro between the two extremities those are the top dead center and bottom dead center and by this process it takes inside the low pressure air from the atmosphere through this air filter and then pushes inside the pressure vessel by raising the pressure of air it is like this so continuously this job is done by the help of a reciprocating compressor okay now let's understand its working imagine that piston is the top dead center and the uh, reciprocating compressor is having two strokes suction and compression so suction is the uh, first stroke suppose the piston is at top dead center and it moves in downward direction toward bottom dead center so what would happen the inside pressure will go low so due to this thing the inlet valve will rise up from its seat the inlet valve can open only inside a cylinder in case inside pressure goes low the inlet valve automatically opens inside it is a non return type of valve so by this way the piston will pull air inside from the atmosphere through this air filter okay so this is the pv diagram of this process see initially when the piston is at top dead center suppose this volume is considered at zero volume means datum is set as zero for this volume however this volume is called as clearance volume but suppose the datum is set as zero for this volume now what is happening the piston is pulling the air inside so volume of this system is increasing inside the cylinder so you can see at constant pressure suppose the atmospheric pressure is p1 at constant pressure air is pulled inside means volume of cylinder is increasing you can see this is the volume of system it is increasing from 0 to 1 at constant pressure because piston is pulling the air inside at constant pressure that constant pressure is actually the atmospheric pressure okay now next is piston will start rising up so by this way what would happen the pressure inside the cylinder will start increasing and this is an adiabatic compression why adiabatic compression because we know this thing adiabatic process is the one in which neither heat is given nor heat is taken out from the system only work is done over the system so work is being done on this air since the pressure inside the cylinder is rising so this inlet wall is automatically shutting off you can see automatically shutting off but this outlet wall is not opening can you tell the reason the reason is suppose when we are observing this reciprocating compressor means it is continuously working but at an instance of time we are observing this reciprocating compressor at that time suppose the pressure vessel's pressure is p2 okay so since the piston is compressing the air inside but until and unless the inner pressure of cylinder goes above the pressure vessel's pressure the outlet wall cannot open it is because the inner pressure of cylinder pushes the outlet wall to open so in case the outlet pressure is more than the inside pressure of cylinder it cannot open it cannot be pushed it is like this so what would happen 
piston will start compressing the air inside the cylinder and as soon as the inner pressure of cylinder rises above the pressure vessel's pressure then automatically the outlet valve open this is the point 2 where the inner pressure equalizes the pressure vessel's pressure now further the compression would be isobaric means at constant pressure the air is pushed inside the pressure vessel can you tell why the further compression is why isobaric the reason is that the however in this diagram the size of pressure vessel i have shown is small but pressure vessel's volume is very big compared to that of piston cylinder volume i am showing with the comparison over this right hand side diagram see this is the pressure vessel's volume so by a small displacement by a small volume of air pushed inside the pressure vessel's pressure is not going to change much appreciable change of pressure will not happen with that particular stroke okay so this is the reason that initially the compression is adiabatic inside the cylinder as soon as the inside pressure reaches the pressure vessel pressure and outlet valve opens in that case since the pressure vessel's volume is very big the further compression is isobaric so at pressure p2 the air is pushed inside the pressure vessel it is like this so this is what the pv diagram of the cyclic process for a particular suction and compression stroke we know think that in reciprocating compression there are two strokes suction and compression for then i am talking for a particular instance in which suction and then compression is happening now let's find out the work done in this case see first of all the work done is isobaric we know this thing in thermodynamics the work done is pdv so at constant pressure p1 the volume changes from 0 to v1 so final volume minus initial volume into p1 is the work done in process 0 to 1 now we know this thing that in process 1 to it is adiabatic compression so for adiabatic compression the work done expression is this that is p1 v1 minus p2 v2 upon gamma minus 1 this is the work done for adiabatic compression this we all already know i am not going to talk in detail why this is adiabatic work done expression because i think that you all are, all are knowing that what is the work done expression for adiabatic compression similarly between 2 and 0 again there is isobaric compression so the work done would be p2 into 0 minus v2 it is like this so p2 into 0 that is equals to minus p2 v2 now total work done in this cycle process would be the addition of all these three work done so i am adding over here so p1 v1 plus p1 v1 minus p2 v2 upon gamma minus 1 minus p2 v2 is the total work done in this one cycle okay now taking the lcm so gamma times p1 v1 minus p1 v1 plus p1 v1 minus p2 v2 minus p2 v2 in, into gamma plus p2 v2 over here minus p1 v1 and plus p1 v1 can be cancelled similarly minus p2 v2 and plus p2 v2 can, can be cancelled only we are left with gamma times p1 v1 minus gamma times p2 v2 so taking the gamma common ultimately we are having this expression w equals to gamma upon gamma minus 1 in the bracket p1 v1 minus p2 v2 but we know this thing that pv equals to rt okay so in place of p1 v1 i can write rt1 in place of p2 v2 i can write rt2 so next is i am taking r common because rt1 minus rt2 i can take r common ultimately we are getting this expression but gamma can be written as cpy cv in the numerator as well as denominator so keeping the value of gamma ultimately w equals to this in the denominator we are taking the lcm like this you can cancel out cv and cv as well as cp minus cv is r so r is also cancelled ultimately we are having the work done expression to be cp into t1 minus t2 okay so th this is what the work done expression in the cyclic process of reciprocating compressor so hope you would have understood by the by the help of this small story the working of reciprocating compressor and how to derive the work done expression thank you